Even if you're a super-powered teenager with attitude, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things we want to see in a Power Rangers movie. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at what we want to see the next time Angel Grove's color-coded Defenders take to the big screen. Beware of spoilers for the last cinematic outing, but otherwise, it's morphin' time. Number 10, Power Weapons. Rangers, the time is right to bring these weapons together. Your team must act together as one. The Zords in costumes may be awesome, but it's hard to imagine the classic Rangers without their signature weapons, which are individual to each member and thematically connected to their Zords. From Billy's Power Lance to Kimberly's Power Bow to Zack's Power Axe and Trini's Power Daggers, these weapons are a fun addition to the Ranger arsenal, used to add new flavor to fight scenes. They could even combine into the mighty Power Blaster. Only Jason gets to use his signature weapon in the movie, and we say that the other Rangers deserve to get in on the action, especially if a sequel adds new, deadlier enemies. You should keep that. You've earned it. Number 9, Expanded Mythology. Rangers, the Zeo Crystal is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. The first movie did an okay job of laying out the basics of the 2017 version of the Power Rangers mythos. And now that the groundwork has been laid, the franchise is free to further expand on the Ranger mythology. Future films could go deeper into what the Rangers are, their origins, and answer all kinds of interesting questions. Are there other Ranger teams protecting other planets, like the Alien Rangers? What role does the Zeo Crystal play in the grand scheme of things? There's plenty of fertile ground out there for future stories and scenarios, as well as plenty of interesting world building. The coins have chosen you five. Yes, now you must protect the Zeo Crystal and life on Earth. Number eight, tone down the product placement. It's a Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. This is a special place. Very special. Around the same time that we learned that Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny aren't real, we learned that our favorite cartoons and TV shows existed to sell us things. Power Rangers is no exception. Engineered mostly to sell rebranded Japanese toys in the US, fans have made their peace with this, but it can get a little hard to ignore the product placement when it's quite so blatant as the Zeo Crystal being buried under a Krispy Kreme donut shop in the new film. We gotta go to Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme! Billy, you circle the Krispy Kreme and make sure it's safe. Even ancient evil supervillains need a donut or two once in a while, but this is just way too much. Thinking chocolate? Think Krispy Kreme? Number seven, more screen time for the black and yellow rangers. I got her! Off me! Ensemble pieces can be a tricky thing to get right, especially if you're introducing every member of the cast for the first time. A two hour movie doesn't give much time to elaborate on backstory and character when your cast is that large, after all. I do what I can, but. But I'm scared. There's a way to pull it off that balances screen time amongst the cast, but the 2017 Power Rangers film fumbles a bit in this department, with people feeling like the black and yellow rangers got the short end of the stick. One of the first items on a sequel's to-do list should be to address giving Zack and Trini more screen time. I'm the new girl. Always. Number six, a soundtrack that better suits the action scenes. No one makes it. It. We get it. Kanye West's song Power shares a word with the title of the movie. As far as music choices go, it's a little on the nose, but we wouldn't mind so much if the song felt a bit better suited to the movie. Power Rangers has a history of epic musical scores, with the classic series scored to a guitar squealing perfection by the great Ron Wasserman. A future Power Rangers movie should go the extra mile by making the music suit the action, either by finding songs that better fit the scene, or putting more focus on the original score. Number five, Megazord combination sequence. Let's show them some Megazord power. For starry-eyed kids in the 1990s, no Power Rangers episode was complete without the epic Megazord combination sequence. After all, what's cooler than seeing a group of robot dinosaurs transform and combine into a giant robot? Megazord activated. The movie, on the other hand, makes the unfortunate mistake of glossing over the sequence and obscuring the Zord's combination. Given the design of the new Zords, it's hard to imagine how they'd combine mechanically, and the film doesn't give us much of an answer to that burning question. A sequel should definitely find a way to make it work, delivering a combination sequence that's fun and interesting to watch. How? Number four, Lord Zed. I am Lord Zed, and 
Opera of all I see. Rita Repulsa may have been the first baddie the Rangers had to face, but after the first season of the original series, she was joined by a figure who would become an even greater thorn in the team's side, the evil Lord Zed. With a frightening visage, a legion of powered up putties, and the titanic Zord Serpentera, Lord Zed is a threat like no other. Even years later, he remains the most iconic Power Rangers villain in the series history. If the sequel is going to up the stakes and give the team an even greater threat to overcome, look no further than this crimson baddie. There'll be no more of Rita's inferior monsters. I will create one of my own to be reckoned with. Number three, Tommy Oliver, Green Ranger. To the fall of Zordon and the destruction of the Power Rangers. From the most iconic Ranger villain to the most iconic Ranger, the movie already teased the presence of the team's sixth member, the Green Ranger, Tommy Oliver. Tommy Oliver. Tommy Oliver. Of course, Tommy wouldn't necessarily have to be male in this version, as some fans would like to see a female Green Ranger to balance the team's gender split. Either way, seeing this series-spanning Ranger take his or her place on the new team would be a welcome sight for Ranger fans, especially if the awesome Dragon Sword makes an appearance as well. This will belong to Empress Rita once I and my Zord put down the Power Rangers forever! Number two, more action with the Rangers in costume. We get wanting to play a coy, but let's be honest, just one fully transformed fight sequence with the Rangers sporting their newly updated iconic costumes just isn't enough for us. While the scene in the 2017 movie is certainly fun, we slapped down hard-earned dollars for some high-flying, color-coded Ranger action. And we wanted more than what we got. The actors themselves aren't short on charisma, and can certainly hold a fight scene as well as anyone. But it just isn't a Power Rangers movie without fully morphed Rangers going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Putty Patrol and other villains whenever possible. Number 1. Fight Scenes with a Unique Identity Speaking of fight scenes, we do need more than just punching monsters till they fall. The TV series had a unique and interesting fight style, with exciting acrobatics, sparks flying everywhere, and over-the-top finishers. Sure, it looked cheesy, but it helped make the series stand out to become one of the biggest shows of the 1990s. Plus, if you look at Hollywood films, the more memorable action scenes are those with unique style, The Matrix with Bullet Time, The Bourne series with Shaky Cam, and more recently, Kingsman with the tracking camera. We're not saying Power Rangers should copy the styles of those films, but we are saying, give your fight sequences their own iconic identity. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.